Summer is over, pretty much. So what was the takeaway from the last few months for markets? What lessons have we learned and what's going to be the one to watch through the remainder of 2016? With me to answer all these questions is Luca Paolini, Chief Strategist at Picte Asset Management. Luca, the summer, what was that big takeaway? Well, the big event obviously was Brexit. Even the US stock market was moving in line with the polls. There was a shock result, but actually what we have learned is that this result has been a sore very quickly and the market is basically moving to close to an all-time high again. Not the big impact that Brexit was going to have, and that's helped steady things, yeah? Yes, it was obviously an impact in sentiment, but we see the economic growth is still pretty much okay, and I think investors are actually pretty much reassured by that. Okay, and now let's look at some of these charts you sent us, which is reflect some of that confidence. Earnings have had a good summer. This is the, the chart that shows the difference between earnings that are positive and negative. Uh, are you expecting that to continue? Yes, we are still in an earning recession. So the, when we look at the year-over-year -year change, earnings are still contracting pretty much everywhere. But what we see in this chart is the fact that there are now more upgrades and downgrades. And this is the first indication we are at least at an inflection point in terms of earnings. And it, this is really key for the equity markets to continue to perform well. The, the stocks are going to start improving, or, or they already have, have they? No, I think we've already seen the first kind of positive impact on sentiment, but we, we need to see, though, is an improvement also in the year-over-year -year change, which I think is going to happen in the next few quarters. Okay, and some of those earnings we see in the second chart is reflected in emerging markets, which is probably, what would you say, the surprise element of the summer? I think the emerging markets obviously benefit from the fact that the Fed looks still very dovish. We have seen a trough in commodity prices, and everybody was actually short TM until recently. So there was this big change in sentiment that obviously pushed all the uh, asset class in EM much higher. And do you think that EM is, has got strong fundamentals to support it, or is this a rally based on artificial reasons? Well, the first rally that we have seen is based actually on sentiment and the fact that we haven't seen a huge shock in China. But on the other side, there are still long-term issues in EM, which I think will be resolved, but I think there are still issues like profitability still weak and, and political uncertainty, but we are optimistic over the long-term on EM. And you mentioned China, and our third chart is probably the, the risk area that you still have. I mean, actually, China over the summer has barely been mentioned in, in market terms. Is that right? Yeah, the first quarter was all about our landing or China is doing terribly. And now actually what we have seen is that we have seen a lot of stimulus, monetary fiscal stimulus. The economy is sort of maybe stabilizing, but the big risk is still pretty much there, which is the, the leverage. Corporate leverage is much higher than in the U.S., and this will be a problem for growth going forward. But companies are trying to pay off their debt. That's a good thing, isn't it? Yes, but when you have weaker growth and this kind of leverage, we're talking about 250%, I think is always going to be a problem. And I think the authorities knows that, but I think it's going to have an impact on growth over the next five years for sure. Okay, Lucas, so that's the summer. Now let's talk about the rest of the year. What indicators are you looking at closely to indicate whether this gradual growth that we were talking about at the beginning is going to be sustained? Economic growth and earning growth is key because in, uh, valuation is pretty, pretty, pretty stretched. So the key factor that we have to look at is US investment spending. Investment spending has been very weak. Companies have tended to buy back shares more than invest in capacity. This is really important. Without an increase in investment, Gross will disappoint, and this will be a problem for markets. But we expect investment spending to pick up in the next few months. So actually, you expect the rest of the year is not going to be a particularly stormy period. It's still going to be quite mild. Well, markets are close to not them high. The Fed may still like raise, so it's not going to be easy. But I think the trend is still up, and I think we still have probably six or 12 months of positive return from, uh, from equities. Luca Paolini, thank you very much. In dates to watch this month, first up is the ECB meeting, September 8th. The general sense from strategists and economists seems to be it is too soon to expect more stimulus measures from the European Central Bank. Still, 